Happy Independence Day! How are you? How is your Independence Day weekend? No good? No beach trip? No vacation? It's okay. We are still alive. Persevere. You will be okay. And I will be okay. We will be all right, right? And you didn't miss anything, so I uh, prepared something for you. Yes, as you know, I live in Washington, this area. So Independence Day in Washington has a special, special meaning. So I feel real celebration feast. The flag is waving. The celebration began with the President Trump's salute to America and powerful military jet. The Navy Blue Angels and the Air Force Thunderbird flying over national malls. And then the National uh, Symphony Orchestra is playing. And the fireworks make a beautiful, brilliant flower in a deep, dark sky. And people are shouting from the boat, fill the Potomac River. And from the roadside, as they park their cars on the side of a highway. Can you feel that? Yes. It is real festivities. Indeed, this year is much bigger scale. You know what? I am so proud of for being an American and feel so blessed living in this wonderful country. But I want us to remember the reason of the way the USA became as it is now after 244 years is that there were a few Puritans who left from their home country to get the new land for religious freedom. We can enjoy this wonderful freedom, but this, is, this independence didn't come as a free. There were bloody wars and sacrifices. There were dedications and sacrifices of our forefathers, same as our freedom. Look at Colossians chapter 5, verse 1. Let's read together. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Amen. We were sinners, but Jesus died on the cross to pardon our sins. And he took our transgressions. He took our iniquities. And as he was crucified on the cross, he broke our chain of sins. He set us free. Do you feel that? Our freedom was not free. It was the price of Jesus. Do you feel the freedom? You know, Christian life doesn't tie us down. And some people complain, oh no, it's too much. No, going to church is too much. Reading Bible too much. Let me tell you, worship, worship doesn't tie us down. Obeying His word doesn't tie us down. Bible doesn't tie us down. Our sins, our shortcoming, our fragilities, our lost desire tie us down. Then let me tell you this. A real Christian is a justified person who made confession of accepting Jesus as a savior. Second, a real Christian is a sanctified person who is born again by the Spirit. Third, a real Christian is, is a person who is trying hard to be sanctified as he follows Jesus in every day his or well, her life. Amen? Amen. That's what true Christian is. If you're a true Christian, Yes, going to church, reading Bible, praying to God, it's, it's not hard, it's not difficult. A month ago, on AGT, America Got Talent, there's a man who came to the stage to sing. His name was Arch Williams. He was from Louisiana. He sang beautifully. The judges and audiences are uh, touched by his songs and story, and they all stood up gave them a standing ovations. Here, listen to his story. On the morning of December the 9th of 1982, a 30-year-old white woman was raped and stabbed in her home. I was arrested on January the 4th. I couldn't believe it was really happening. I knew I was innocent, I didn't commit a crime, but being a poor black kid, 
I didn't have the economic ability to fight the state of Louisiana. At the trial, none of the fingerprints at the scene matched mine. Three people testified that I was at home, but they wanted somebody to pay. I was sentenced to life in 80 years without the possibility of parole or probation. I was sent to Angola State Penitentiary. It was classified as the bloodiest prison in the United States. You had a choice to either be strong or weak, you know, because you will be tried and tested. Days turn into weeks, into months, into years, and into decades. It's like a nightmare, you know? 37 Seven years. years. How did you get through? Freedom is of the mind. Yes. I went to prison, but I never let my mind go to prison. When you know you're faced with dark times, what I would do is I would pray and sing. This is how I got peace. You know, and when the Innocent Project took my case, I just kept hope that they will prevail. This new technology got me back in court. They was ordered to, you know, run the fingerprints in the database. And within hours, they matched the prints to uh, a serial rapist. After 37 years, I was released on March the 21st, 2019. How does it feel right now to be out, to be vindicated? Man, it's a feeling I'm still trying to grab. I'm still trying to digest the freedom that I have right now. Thank God. I was so impressed when he said, they sent my body to the prison, but I didn't let my mind to go. After show, so many people interviewed and asked him how he was able to stay 37 years in the prison. Weren't you mad? And he said, since I can remember in life, my relationship always has been with God. Believing in Him and trusting in Him. I don't know what other people's beliefs are, but that's my belief. That's where I get everything from. What an amazing man. What's your belief? You are PK. You are DK. You are EK. You've been a Christian entire way of your life. You've been attending church every Sunday. Do you have a strong belief? God saved you. Do you have a strong belief? God set you free. We are fragile. We, we are so weak. So whenever we face the hardship and difficult times, our faith always shattered. That's why Paul says, we have to stand firm. No matter whatever the situation is, we have to stand firm in Jesus and don't carry the yoke of sin anymore. Don't let your emotions and desires get to you. Stand firm on the word. Stand firm in God. Don't carry the yoke of sins anymore. Then you will be all right. And we will be all right because we are free. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we were sinners. We were chained by our sins. But you sent us Jesus Christ. You broke the chain of our sins through Jesus Christ. But Father, we don't truly, truly appreciate what you have done for us. As we have this Independence Day, let us just remember once again, and we are free from the sins. We are justified. We are no longer sinners because Jesus crucifixion on the cross. Father, 
let us be the true Christians as we praise your name, as we exalt your name, as we glorify your name. Even though we could go through tough time and hard time, Father, let us stand firm on your word. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.